There is no such thing as a Democrat. The DNC just encourages people to vote for the Democratic Party. No one has any right to an expectation of a fair hearing. If the DNC wishes to select a candidate in the primary instead of a free election process, that is their right. Donating money to Bernie Sanders doesn't mean you thought that your money was going to assist him to win the primary. You have no right to think the DNC was obligated to follow their own charter and internal policies about elections. Discussion of and any disputes with the DNC do not belong in, in a transparent process in a court of law. The DNC is a private association which should never be asked to engage in the discovery process or have to reveal any of its internal workings or strategies should they decide to select the candidate, rather than allow a fair election of a candidate. Bruce Spiver, DNC attorney, said that in open court. Right. So here we are. It's, the, it's, uh, Jan it's June 2018. Remember, it was a, a minute ago. It was 2016, and we were we were quite sure that the Democrats uh, cheated in the primary. Well, here you go. Here's the that's in the only, it, that's uh, documented evidence that was uh, uh, stated in court in federal court in Florida, DNC fraud lawsuit with uh, Jared and Liz Elizabeth Beck down in Florida, challenging the DNC fraud that they perpetrated throughout 2016. And that was their answer. So where are we now? So it, it's, it's evidence that the DNC and the Democratic Party is a farce, that the elections, the primaries that we're seeing right now, and I'll talk about the ones in California last night, are not real elections. They're fake elections. They're selection processes. What don't, what doesn't, what don't people understand about the fact that the elections are fake? that the Democratic Party doesn't have elections anymore or possibly never did. Now, am I exaggerating? Am I being extreme? No. It's in their own words. So why do, why do, the, why do the progressive left, the Bernie Kratz, the Our Revolution, the Justice Democrats, the do-gooders, the people that really believe in policy and are, are genuinely good people, continue to side with a with an organization that doesn't give a shit about you that is is openly telling you that their elections are fake that there is no such thing as a democrat the dnc just encourages people to vote for democrats no one has any right to expect the expectation of a fair election no one no one has any right to so why do you run in the democratic party Right? I interviewed a bunch of guys from New York, but they're running all over the country, right? Why do you why would you side with this organization after they're telling you that it's it's a fake election? They're holding a fake election, right? So what's the result down in California? Right? It's June sixth. Last night California voted a bunch of Democrats in. <laughs> voted. You can't even use the word voted. You can't even say that it was an election because it's fake. Diane Feinstein got 43% of the fake vote over uh, and the rest 36% was split among other. So she's this she'll be the senator again for another 6 years in California. Corporatist democrat money grabber liar cheater, all right? She'll be in she'll be in for the next 6 years. Congratulations California. Congratulations on your on your new senatorial democratic pick Nancy Pelosi 68 percent of the vote now there was a candidate over there Stephen Jaffe in San Francisco that I I don't I, I didn't follow very closely he only got five percent of the vote six percent that's bullshit All right so there you go congratulations California hey California you got Nancy Pelosi running as a Demo Democratic primary so what, so what is it going to take? What's it going to take for people to stop 
you know, there's people. Look, I got a whole stack of 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 Democratic candidates running in the running for for Congress, running for state Senate, running for all kinds of uh, positions in the Democratic Party. But the, but what are you running for? We just told you that it's a fake election. It's a fake election. This is the problem of our time that we don't actually have a party that represents the people. They're not picking the candidate because they look out the window and the people like the 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 the, the people like that candidate. That's why they're picking them. They look at the they look at the money. Nancy Pelosi outraised outraised uh, the Stephen Jaffe guy 30 to 1. He had like 100 grand. She had 6 million dollars, right? So it's it's a it's a money game. It's so it's a, such a sad reality. And the other the other part, right? I I, I um I, I caught this guy out in the street. I like this guy. Chuck Palumbo said it too. Paul Sperling. I'll give him a plug. Paul Sperling is um, Democrat for Congress. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean, Democrat for Congress? Um. I forgot what I was going to say now, but he all right. He said it. He said it was a uh, you know, it, it, incredible levels of of uh, oh, that's what he was saying. Incredible levels of corruption. But he's still running in the Democratic candidate for Congress here. He's going to challenge Dan Donovan and uh, Michael Grimm, the Republicans. One of those two will win, and then he'll have to go. He's 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 right now primarying against uh, Max Rose. Who I I interviewed. All right, so the point is, oh, that's what I want to say about Paul. Paul made a good point. He gave a great interview, and he said that there's no way that an in, independent candidate can win. It's the deck is too stacked. Paul, I love you, but I to- completely disagree. That is the wrong attitude. That the honest actual vote of the people is the independent vote the republican side is rigged in ways that we don't even know right the democratic elections are rigged the primaries are rigged in ways that we know exactly why because they stated it in open court right so the independent is the candidate of the people right that's the message not the message you can't message people and say oh the the democratic the, the 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 independent can never win don't vote for the independent vote for the democrat and then try to transform the party from the inside and we'll fix everybody and we're going to fix the system no you don't fix the system for 30 40 years now running we had that discussion on on on, on one of the threads talking about that is this a new thing for the democrats no 1968 was the was the year that the Democratic Party uh, officially cracked in half. Robert Kennedy was running for president for uh, for president, right? He was running, and then he got he was he got killed. He got he got assassinated in 1967, leading up to the 1968 uh, primaries. He would have been the president of the United States, and when when he was shot and killed the democrats picked i think it was hubert humphrey or somebody to run against nixon and they, and he lost because because they picked the candidate right so the cheating and the picking and the the stacking the deck on the democratic party is nothing new but why do people now it's it's so brazen and so in your face right you you the other disgusting part of it is that there's there's voter voter drive voter camp oh voter voter vote you gotta vote vote I voted today vote vote it's good for it's you're a good American if you go out and you vote but the elections are fucking rigged right so what are you voting for you're voting for corruption you're voting for corruption right so that's all I wanted to say today about the uh, the California fake primary where Diane Feinstein recaptures her fake election, fake primary to to go on to 
to to compete against the Republican who nobody knows and and the, and that the 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 whole election in California is rigged for the corporatist Democrats where she will become the next senator for another 6 years in a, you know in another fake appointed position that should be a a, a position uh, of the people by the people and for the people but it isn't anymore and in New York you're going to have the same thing if people don't get off their ass and 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 fix the problem for example in the, the senate seat you've got this christian gillibrand the corporatist democrat clinton clintonite right running chuck schumer wall street chuck schumer takes more money from wall street sticks the, the regular people in the back this is what you're going to get in new york you already got it in california it's already confirmed right feinstein congratulations right but in new york right Come November sixth, I'm not running. I'm I'm running for Congress because you might you might you might suspect that I'm a little pissed off, right? right? I'm you, right? I'm you. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat, right? This is the this is the mov- the movement. This is the movement we have to see in this country, right? We have to see this 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 disillusion this illusion that only the Democrat. Only the Republican. What the hell is going on, right? That's not. That's the. Where's in the Constitution that said that? When they were writing that, there was Whigs. You remember the Whigs? W H I G Whig Party. There was Republicans. Then and the Demo- The Republican Party actually um, replaced the Whigs, right? Under Lincoln, right? It was the first. The first Republican. Election, the first uh, Republican candidate, I believe, was Lincoln, and he won, and that thereby dissolved the Whigs. So the idea that the Democratic Party can't be dissolved, or the Republican Party can't be dissolved, is not true. We need to we need to go at that. All right. So I went on too long. My name is Marcus Conti. I'm a uh, investigative journalist and a reporter here on YouTube. Subscribe to my station. I'm also running for the United States Senate in New York against uh, Kirsten Gillibrand in November 6th. I'm not running in the Democratic Party or the Republican Party. In the general election as a write-in candidate, Marcus Conti, M-A-R-C-U-S-C-O-N-T-E. Write me in in November 6th, and we'll we'll take back. I'll be the guy in Congress, same, same tone, same face, same clothes, same hat, flipping over tables in, in the Senate. Peace.